Kia ora te whanau. Ko Zach Marin tōku ingoa, my name is Zach. Ko Jake Marin tōku ingoa, my name is Jake. We've been like pretty inseparable from from day dot. It's just been us, us and mum. So we've been pretty yeah close as from from the get go. But that's why we sort of have a close as bond now. Yeah, I'd have to agree with Zachy. We just we did everything together: rugby, playing, school, walking to school, everything. Yeah, we've been I'd say best friends really our whole life to this to this current day. Zach's guided me through life. I'd say that's been. Uh, the reason why we are so close. He supported me, supported our mother, mum supported me. Yeah, being uh, the three musketeers together through life. I started boxing when I was about 15, 16. I only did it for fitness purposes and it was in a small garage in Waipani Road in Tat North with my pop. The reason I got into boxing was I was playing first with team for Westlake Boys High School and I wasn't really enjoying it anymore. I went to one training at Shuriken Martial Arts and I haven't really looked back since. It is my therapy, my form of expressing myself. I actually started my acting journey from way back when I was five doing kapaka. I still count kapaka as performing arts, doing school plays and things like that. My last year of high school when I left school actually where I was like, oh man, I'm gonna actually give this a go like properly and actually learn, you know, the actual structure and analysis and things like that as opposed to just winging it or doing, you know, just being a clown really. Yeah, and then I started doing theatre, a lot of theatre training, uh, at Tepo Theatre, shout out to Tepo Theatre. And then got cast uh, as Rahu Parata on Shortland Street in 2022. Yes, I was on there for about 20 months. I leveled up a lot and I learned a lot, not only about the craft, but about people in general, about me. And yeah, I grew up a lot in that time too. So finished up there at the end of last year. The reason we started our own talk show and podcast was I think it's something that me and Zach can do together outside of our day-to-day -day nine to five. The main thing is to have good corridor, deep corridor. I've had you. You know what I mean? You've had, you haven't had anyone to guide you, really. You've had uncles and stuff. Mm. But, that's, yeah, that's my question to you. Like, you, I've had you as a father be our true, real, authentic selves while we're doing that. And I think that'll rub off on people um, that are watching and listening. The conversations are more behind the scenes, you know, intimate yarns. We have guests that come on. Every even number, it is just Jakey and I. Every odd number, we have a guest that comes on. We, we call them go-getters. You know, we're a couple months in, two months in, and Jakey and I already have learned so much mm. with it. Like, we've already got a few key takeaways. If I had to share it with you guys, one of my key takeaways is to stay patient. You yeah. know, at the start, we're like, ah, oh, this thing's gonna be like, <laughs> this is gonna be the best <laughs> thing since sliced bread. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Um, so stay patient is honestly a massive one for, for us. Our mum, uh, well, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be here, I'll tell you that, without, without our mum. Our mum is, is our rock, and we are who we are today because of her.